Now, our next guest needs no introduction. I've got the founder of Drinking Vessels and Bat, Bat, Bat Country. Bat Country Studios. I always get that mixed up. Bat Country Studios. Ben Belgrad joining me. How are you, Ben? Good. Thank you so much for having me. Great today. to have you here. So we love having you on the show, and we do lots of features with what you do at Drinking Vessels, but it's such a cool concept. So tell me about Drinking Vessels and how you got started. Absolutely. So I have a glass blowing studio in Mintern where we represent between 50 and 100 artists, uh, primarily glass, but also ceramics and painters and all different kinds of mediums, uh, specializing in drinkware, handmade drinkware. And so I got started when I was in college blowing glass uh, and kind of evolved into this position of both being an artist and a curator. That's so great. And it, it's just incredible what you do. And Thank you. It's such an interesting medium to, to really develop and to curate and they're beautiful works of art. So you have some really exciting things happening and especially coming up this weekend. Yes, we do. <laughs> yes, our seventh annual Vale Cup Collectors Club is on Saturday from noon to 10. Um, over at Bat Country Studios in Minturn, and we have artists coming in from around the country to create collaborations uh, at my studio, um, as well as then on Sunday the 25th, we'll be going to Vail as a group to go ride and enjoy the mountain. That sounds great, and especially for people that are coming in from all over the country. So, 7th Annual, mm -hmm. tell me about the event. So, it runs, yeah. it's a full day event. Tell mm -hmm. me all about it. Yeah, so it's all day at the studio. We have food from our friends down in Denver, Workbench, uh, we have this drink sponsor, Yerba Star, which is like a Yerba Mate energy drink. Um, we're going to have all kinds of exciting live performance art happening from glass blowing to painting and other mediums. Um, and it's just a cool way for collectors and artists and appreciators to all kind of co-mingle in an intimate space um where everybody gets to have personal conversations and watch live glass art being made well, that's true and that's what i love about the valley here is that it's it's communal and we really are very artistic and so mm -hmm. you know, to be able to walk away with a piece of art like yeah. the glass that you've got here and this is one of your personal works of art as well yeah is so just this is really a piece we made for the show yeah um this is a collaboration from a friend of mine yushin who lives over in evergreen and I'll pour some of this Yerba Star to start my morning. <laughs> I'm Appreciate thinking you I, probably, I probably need one of those as well after, after we're done with this conversation. Yeah, here. this is one of my favorite drinks and they sponsor most of our shows. Well, I can smell it, it smells great. And so loving this glass. So this is a collaboration and this is your signature design essentially. Yeah, so this has my signature composition notebook pattern mm -hmm. in the middle and then Yushin's Reticellos and you might be able to see on the bottom there, it's got another pattern underneath. It's a stunning piece of work. For Thank sure. you so much. You know, I, I love collecting cups and things. So this is yeah. uh, this is really great to have unique pieces. So you mentioned with the seventh annual, you've got over a hundred artists, about a hundred artists that you'll be featuring. Or, We're or? representing about a hundred artists okay, on it. our on our regular uh, kind of programming, mm -hmm. and there are between fifteen and twenty artists in the show for this weekend for the Vale Cup Collectors Club. And that's a rotating uh, group of artists. We try to highlight different techniques and different kinds of um, you know types of drinkware uh, in each show, mm -hmm. but this show has an open theme, so people have made different kinds of submissions versus one thematic cup. That's great, and so how do you connect with all of these artists all over the country and get them to, to display their work with you? Yeah, so I've been building these relationships for over a decade uh, since I started blowing glass, and for example, we just came back from Las Vegas a couple of weeks ago uh, from a national trade show for glass artists. And so when I'm at those shows, I'm often uh, you know, meeting these artists and offering them the opportunity to showcase and sell on our platform, uh, which is kind of a unique space because we sell one-of-a-kind handmade drinkware um, and we're one of the only marketplaces for kind of work of this, of this caliber. That's great. And so each piece is unique. There's mm -hmm. not going to be a, an exact replica of each uh, piece of glassware that, that you sell. So talk to me a little bit about the process, you know, sure. and, and during the event as well, you, we get to actually witness these pieces being made. So can you yes. explain a little bit about how it starts from inception to finish? Yeah. So what we're doing is borosilicate flame working or scientific glass blowing, and we're applying that in an artistic application. So each of the colors that you see here in this cup are an individual piece of glass uh, that we've, through a series of different patterns and techniques, uh, incorporated into the final product. And so we're starting with like solid rods that mm -hmm. are about the size of a number two pencil okay. in diameter. Wow. Um, and also like tubing of varying sizes and, and wall weights. Um, and we're melting that material in a flame that's about four to 5,000 degrees. Mm -hmm. The molten glass is about two to 2,500, uh, 2,000 to 2,500 degrees. And then we're manipulating it with graphite tools, with our breath, 
uh, with machines called lathes. And once the piece is made, we put it in a kiln or an oven mm -hmm. uh, where the piece can gradually cool down from that very hot temperature I described okay. until it gets to room temperature the next day. So you're telling me that this gorgeous piece of, of, of drinkware mm -hmm. was made from a number two pencil, the size of a number two pencil, essentially. <laughs> yeah, each of the individual colors and, and uh, the stringers and then the lip wrap. Uh, are all individual sticks of color. That's amazing. Um, and at one point, this entire glass was molten liquid, uh, mm -hmm. and it was being spun to keep its form. Uh, and so Yushin spun this one in evergreen. I made some prep here at my studio, and we put it together. Uh, so that's kind of how these come to be. That's great. And so the Vale Cup Collectors Club, you got it. seventh annual is yes. Saturday from Absolutely. 12 to 10. And so you can watch artists do this. Yeah, we have, I'm actually heading to Eagle Airport in a few minutes to pick up one of our guest artists from Austin, Texas. Mm -hmm. We have artists coming in from around the country uh, to showcase their work and, and their skills um, because these are some of the most skilled artists in the world. It's, it's impressive and it's so beautiful. So you. the event, you have mm -hmm. to buy tickets. You can't yes. just show up. So talk to me about the, the specifics and the details around that. Yeah, great. So tickets are available at drinkingvessels.com for $20 for mm -hmm. our GA tickets. That would be through the afternoon. And then we have VIP tickets for people who want to have first selection of the work that's being offered um, and also like a gift package from our sponsors. Um, and then for everybody on Sunday, anybody who has skis or a ski pass can come join us at Vail. Um, we'll go take kind of my route that I like to ride because I live here full time. Uh -huh. um, and then we'll have lunch on the mountain and kind of give everybody, a, again, an intimate experience to get to know these artists and these collectors and these art appreciators. That's, yeah, that's incredible. I, sounds like a blast. Yeah, <laughs> you know, thank it, you. Re it really does. So in regard to glass blowing, mm -hmm. you know, this is a very interesting. If you're curious about it, it's great to come check out the event. Yes. And then also, if you wanted to get in and start to dabble on your own, tell me about that. Or is there an option to do that? Yeah, absolutely. Recently, over the last maybe six months, we've started offering classes at the studio. Mm -hmm. And this is for all skill levels, beginners who have never touched hot glass in their lives. Um, you can expect to make a marble, a pendant, a paperweight, something kind of um, like a solid sculptural object that's small. Mm -hmm. And then after you make the piece with our instructors, it sits in the kiln that takes about eight hours. Um, and then would be ready for pickup the next day. So you actually get to take home the piece that you make on your first try. Oh, that's great. I love, I love that idea of making a marble. So you can make a whole set if you wanted to. Exactly. You yeah. want to just practice and get used to, to working with the materials. Now, in regard to the first selection and the VIP mm -hmm. tickets, so these pieces will be made on Saturday and then you'll have to come back and pick them up later. Is that right? Sort of. Mm -hmm. So many of the pieces have already been submitted by the artists. Got so it. this is the one that Yushin and I are submitting for the show together. Okay. Um, I have about 28 or 30 cups that okay. are made, and then we're all gonna be making more cups throughout the weekend and actually throughout the week. Uh -huh. um, so there will probably be around 40 to 50 cups available for purchase. Okay. And a few of them will have to be picked up later, but most of them are ready for pickup the day of the so show. Ready to walk away with it and mm -hmm. enjoy the piece of art. Absolutely. That's so great. And you know, you can make your entire cup collection a, a beautiful curated art, art collection as well. Yeah, it's nice to open your cabinet and see a bunch of different unique pieces instead of a bunch of uh, mass produced, you know, repetitive objects. That's so true. And, this piece that you have is stunning. So very Thank exciting you. and best of luck to you. Seventh, seventh year in, in the running. So that's, yeah. a, that's a great event. Yeah, we're really proud to have been able to do this so many times and we're excited to have many of you over on Saturday. Absolutely. Ben, tell us one more time, where can we get for tickets? Yeah, tickets are available at drinkingvessels.com. There's a link on the homepage uh, that'll take you right to them for the Vale Cup Collectors Club. Awesome. The Vale Cup Collectors Club on Saturday. It's going to be an incredible event. You get to experience and interact with such really amazing and unique artists and see the work that they do. So head over to drinkingvessels.com to buy your tickets and, and hang out with Ben. Sounds like a blast. Thank you so much. <laughs> Absolutely. Now we'll be back with the end of our show here shortly.